Welcome back to the channel guys Today we have here an Audi Q5 2011 It's an hybrid model But uh, for the problem we have with it It doesn't really matter what, uh, what propulsion you use Or what even, uh, even what fuel you, you use This is the electronic parking brake uh, Giving us problems As you can see in the dash blinking there this is a quite common problem on these cars. So we went ahead and diagnosed it. Uh, we are diagnosing the uh, EPB uh, module, which has left parking uh, motor uh, voltage supply short circuit. So that means that you have two channels on the, this module. Uh, one of them is not working, uh, which is normal uh, well not normal but it happens on these cars as, as soon as you try to erase as soon as you try to erase the um, error code um, it shows you warnings so the EPB is located under, um, next to the battery in this case so you have to remove the the kit the puncture kit remove the trim here you have to be careful with that plug over there now let me just get a flashlight okay so the EPB model module is right down there as you can see there's the fuse box there and uh, it's old in place with two uh, 10 millimeter bolts or nuts uh, but it's that plastic uh, case TRW EPB it says on it under the label there so you have to remove the 10, two 10 millimeter uh, nuts from the um, one on each corner. Uh, as you can see here, this is the module. These are the nuts. It's one on each side. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter, as you can see. So we have to remove this module and um, see if uh, anything is damaged inside you have to slide this uh, locking mechanism which is not very easy to do with with uh, one hand only and then push it push the plug up so you can free the module from the car as you can see here it's a TRW module okay so to open it you have to break the plastic the cover it's not pressed it's glued in place so you just have to go with the box cutter and you know cut it all around so um, as a closer with a closer inspection i never saw anything damaged with the naked eye so uh, as you can see here you have these um, mosfets here uh, which means that there are two of them uh, for each side So I went ahead and I plugged the, the module to the car opened up the relays uh, There are two relays double relays. This one is for the right hand side locking and unlocking and this one for the left side These are the relays So I cleaned everything, all the contacts, everything. Uh, later I'll be putting some plastic there to cover it. So what I went ahead and did was um, I've changed this uh, MOSFET for the left side with the one on the uh, for the right side. Connected back to the car and found out that uh, now the error code followed the MOSFET, which means the MOSFET is damaged. These MOSFETs, they pretty much say to the car um, in what posi position the, the brake is, if it's locked or unlocked. That's pretty much what it does. Um, so after I changed the right one to the left one, uh, the error code changed to the other side. So now I have to go ahead and um, find a replacement for these. This is a, these are FD8444L. So after I found uh, the replacement parts, uh, not the same part number, but uh, equivalent part, 
um, I got them today on the mail. And um, so I went ahead and I bought a few uh, because I thought, well, if one uh, already broke, the other one might be on its way. So I might as well uh, change uh, both of them. So this is the part. Um, and um, yeah, let me just um, start all my uh, my tools. Uh, the hot air gun and um, let's uh, start uh, the soldering um, this component uh, here I speeded up the video a little bit because um, uh, well it takes a little bit to remove these uh, these components from this board and uh, I didn't I didn't think that this was important as long as you guys are seeing what um, I'm doing here. Um, well, this uh, the problem on this car is um, it says on one of the of the wheels it they both still work, but there was a, um, a warning on the dashboard saying there was a problem with the electronic parking brake. After diagnosing and seeing the live data, I um, I saw that both um, wheels were locking, but uh, one of them, um, one of the wheels, the car didn't recognize if it was locked or unlocked, so it wouldn't let you change the brake pads, for, for example. Uh, sometimes it interfered with the um, hybrid um, part of this uh, car. It wouldn't let you drive in electric mode. Uh, and, well, other than, than that, there was um, the gong, which is uh, very annoying, and a lot of warnings and blinking on the dashboard. So... I found that these parts are uh, pre pretty much the same specs, the same uh, pinout, everything. Um, right here, I'm just um, making sure everything is uh, soldered in place correctly. Uh, this is a part that I don't want to have to remove again to resolder or reflux or reflow or whatever. So I want to make sure this is. Uh, well done the same at the first time now when you plug this module into the car the car kind of uh, diagnose itself as you can see here the relays will both click as you can see here and um, that's a good sign it's a sign that it recognizes both motors for the both uh, rear wheels the brakes of course um, now here um, they already were working, the blinking lights, uh, as soon as I cycled the, the electronic parking brake, it went away, but you still had the, on the, the display in the middle there, there was still um, a warning light. So I, um, I, I remember after that, that I still need to re-raise the codes and um, eventually perform the basic settings because I didn't disconnect battery or anything um, before removing the, the module itself. Other than that, uh, the, the other shop that was working on this uh, car, uh, they probably reset everything and tried to fix it uh, via coding or, uh, you know, uh, they tried every, everything they could. So this is my hotel. Uh, it does everything it, I needed to do, but uh, I'm more used to uh, doing the basic setting on the Vecom. It's uh, much easier. So I went ahead and switched to the Vecom machine. After I found it was a little complicated with this one. Not complicated, but I'm not used to it anyway. Um, so I have my Vecom on my hand. So it was a lot easier to do it that way. As you can see, the only code, it was the um, no basic setting. And that's why the, there was still a warning light. But after the basic coding, the basic setting actually make everything perfect. Both wheels were working perfect. No more um, warning lights, no fault codes.
uh, whatsoever in the um, in the ECU, as you can see here. And um, yeah, guys, this is how I managed to fix this electronic parking brake module uh, that came to me. Uh, hopefully, it was um, helpful for you guys. And um, if you like this video and this content, please uh, don't forget like and subscribe.